Future Manned Unmanned Air Combat by Skunk Works The legendary Skunk Works Advanced Project Division says its plan, which is centered on a multi-layered distributed team of diverse unmanned aircraft working in concert with manned types, presents a far more capable alternative to so-called loyal wingman concepts, which involve air combat drones working tethered to manned platforms in a relatively rigid fashion. Lockheed Martin Vice President and Skunk Works General Manager John Clark provided details about this unmanned initiative at a virtual press briefing. Computer-generated promotional materials the company subsequently released, show four different pilotless platforms, which range from lower-end expendable and attritable designs to more exquisite types, all intended to work in complementary ways with existing and future manned combat aircraft, as well as each other. Clark explained that while Skunk Works distributed manned unmanned teaming construct is new, as a whole, it is heavily rooted in past projects that Skunk Works has conducted, including many he has directly been a part of. He added that this specific effort has itself been years in the making, dating back at least to Will Roper's tenure as Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisitions, Technology, and Logistics, which lasted from 2018 until last year. The term that's really been latched on to by a lot of folks is this idea of a loyal wingman, using a term commonly used to refer to unmanned aircraft generally designed to work directly at the command of manned types. Initial work on the manned-unmanned teaming concepts at Skunk Works showed that if the drones weren't specifically matched in various ways to the manned platforms that they were supposed to be protecting or otherwise supporting, such as in terms of speed or radar signature, then they would actually provide dangerous cues to enemy integrated air defense system networks. Any indication or warning that the loyal wingman provided, then would be a tip that would then allow these integrated air defense system networks to start to find the things that we didn't want the adversary to find. Skunk Works focus subsequently shifted to other ways to augment or supplement manned aerial combat capabilities in a more complementary fashion with a heavy emphasis on novel and distributed architecture. This allowed more freedom of flexibility or freedom of maneuver with respect to the types of capabilities that we could introduce, Clark said. Both the U.S. Air Force and the U.S. Navy have separate but intertwined next-generation air dominance, NGAD, programs that are seeking to develop and acquire a host of advanced aerial combat technologies, with unmanned systems being a critical part. However, generally, when people like Clark talk about sixth-generation aircraft, they are referring to the Air Force's initiative, which is a system of systems effort that includes work on a new stealthy manned combat aircraft and various drones, as well as new weapons, sensors, networking, and battle management capabilities to go with them. Then we started exploring the ideas of expendable aircraft, according to Clark. The Skunk Works chief stressed the distinction here between expendable and so-called attritable platforms. Broadly speaking, Attritable unmanned aircraft are designed with a balance of capabilities and cost that is intended to enable commanders to be more willing to utilize them on higher risk missions that would otherwise preclude the use of a more expensive and complex platform. Lockheed Martin has laid out its vision for the future of tactical air combat. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.